Welcome back everyone to Teddy Bear Boxing. Or did you click on the wrong video again? Alright, either way, how about we learn something new today? Right there we're looking at the air pass-through manifold on the firewall. Old Cascadias, new Cascadias, they both have it. That's what it looks like on the inside. Every now and again you're going to get one that's leaking from one of the fitting O-rings. Now O-rings can be replaced if you have an O-ring kit. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be easiest to just replace the whole thing. Now remember, you're going to get air leaks everywhere. All the quick disconnect fittings, they're usually cheap plastic and they're not meant to last. So this is just one more thing to, needing to be replaced. Alright, so we're going to cut those tie downs, get those out of the way so we can start yanking on some lines. We got these airline release tools. We're going to go ahead and use those to help release on some of the fittings that are harder to get out. As you can see, sometimes you got to move them around, smack them, jiggle them. Try on them, but that's how it's done. So what you can do is take a picture of how all the lines go, or you can look at the manifold and they should be color coded to the line. So that is a great benefit, unless they've been replaced before, and they're probably not, and you're on your own. Now, in case you're intrigued, I want a little, a little bit more. This manifold is just to get the air lines from outside the truck to the inside of the truck, everything behind the dash, anything uh, air related, this is where it's gonna go through to get in and out. Now there may be two or three lines that go towards the outside, like that gray one right there and that green one that aren't connected, right? Uh, that gray one is just an exhaust. The other one, well, yeah, it does connect to a fitting, but it just passes right through the top and not through one of the fittings, just one of the open spaces. So that will need to be pulled out from the inside of the cab. At some point, you're gonna get pissed and frustrated and start throwing things. So before that happens, just grab a knife, cut the lines off. If they're not that important. Just make sure you cut them straight because you don't want to have them leaking after you're all said and done. As you can see, at this point, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut the sucker off. I don't want to fight with him. Time is money, and I got to make this thing happen. So now we're off to do all the inside work. Now we're looking at all the pressure sensors. I like to mark them. That way I know which connectors go to which sensors in case they're not easy to, uh, to see later. So I like to mark everything 
if the lines aren't color coded to the manifold itself, I like to mark the lines, you know, draw a specific number of stripes or dots, whatever it takes really. And I'll take a picture to help. So we're gonna pull all those lines off. We're gonna pull the sensor connectors off and then we're gonna grab a uh, 40, a 240 and we're gonna undo that screw. There's only one screw holding that guy down and it's really hard to see, but it's right there where it's positioned, right towards the middle of the manifold itself. So right here, I'm pointing to where the screw is. I know it's really hard to see. That's how long it is. And uh, when it comes off, you'll be able to see it a little more clearly. So everything is pretty much removed now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the manifold. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down, unclip it out of place, and get the couple airlines that I couldn't get to because the dash was in the way. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this job kind of sucks, especially if that fart filter next to your head has a whole lot of miles on it. And this job is even worse. But that's what it looks like, front to back, cut lines. That's right, you guessed it. Go ahead and swap those fittings over. I like to get a socket on them, not a, not a wrench. I like to make it easy. So, inch and a sixteenth socket. Get those pressure sensors uh, switched over. I do them one at a time, that way I don't forget where each one goes. Keep in mind, there's usually a couple plugs that need to be transferred and uh, a couple shutoff ports, which is just a plug in the actual port. So don't forget about those guys too. Go ahead and uh, throw it into place, screw it down, and then we can start making all the connections. Screwed it down, put everything back into place, and that is what she looks like. And the hope is always that everything's connected correctly. Make sure you push firmly on those lines because you don't want them leaking again. Looking at the outside, we're gonna go ahead and pull the rest through, go ahead and connect everything, and then we're gonna tie everything back down just the way it was. Go ahead and start that truck, build up the air pressure. Do -do 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 -do. That's what it sounds like every single time. Now, you gotta check for leaks. You don't want any comebacks. So let's make sure we do this right. Looking at the outside, we're looking good. Everything's pressurized. That blue port never had anything in it, so don't worry about that one. We're looking good. Let's go on to the inside. Yeah, we're gonna use a little water just in case we can't hear it. So we're gonna spray the fittings down. And you know what? There's a leak right there. See, it's a good thing we did it. If we just trusted ourselves, we would have failed. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that leak. We're gonna go ahead and repressure it up and check again. You don't wanna screw this up now. Every job's gotta be done right. Oh, uh, looking good, looking good. All right. Go ahead and get all those covers back on, just the way they were. Make it right, make it tight, make it look nice. See, keep it professional, right? Now, if you find some food under the dash, that is all yours to keep, if you're a sicko.
So everything's tied down and everything's looking good. Just double check everything, start the truck, make sure everything works, make sure nothing leaks. And if that's all good, then you're good. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe out there.